I will go now directly to the decision of the talk, a, a little on to the live demo. I would like to ask Ariel, as, as leader of, of the Wellness Staff for Group, as chair of the Wellness Staff for Group, if you could present uh, this. So the first use case is the capacity uh, driven air interface, which I will explain. And the second is flow shaping. Okay? The first use case is about trying to optimize the network from the resource level, okay, trying to save power. Okay, the idea is really to create a correlation between the actual traffic that is being sent on the network okay, and the actual uh, microwave links you are using. So we are able to optimize them. Okay, in this case, we're just going to show you how you can mute the links. Okay? But in the same way, you can reduce the power, you can uh, fully close channels, you can, uh, you can dispatch multi-rated groups, you can do many things to optimize the power of uh, a wireless uh, link okay, when you don't need all the capacity. So we're, we're basically creating correlation between the actual traffic that is going through and the physical media. Okay? We've got three data persons, okay? These are all a moderator or linear division of the end. Okay, so these are all linear division uh, units. Okay, this is the air two equipment. Okay, and this right, you have the uh, MC equipment. Okay, mm -hmm. third air equipment. Okay, you've got the wall equipment here, and you've got the CI equipment there. Okay, and these are the Korean drivers. <coughs> okay, the traffic analyzer is that noisy thing there. Okay, <laughs> and the receiver has the control. Okay, <laughs> the SCN control is here. Okay, we're using a bonus SCN controller. Okay, you can actually see the GUI, okay? This is actually the configuration. It's the connectivity, okay? It's the bulky port, okay? And you have to look amazing. I mean, it's fun. I mean, it's a decent pop down in the language, of course. Okay, then we want to take it out. Okay, so basically all this is reverted. Okay, so we show that when the capacity goes down, when the Ethernet, okay, the traffic capacity goes down, we want to optimize the physical resources. We don't need to use all the carriers, so we need them. Or we can just reduce the power. Okay. Now when the, the capacity goes up, traffic, we want to again fully utilize the network. And that's what we're doing here. It's going to go. All the things, first of all, are going to be unmuted, and then we're also going to see the status here. Now, this is important because we're taking something that's very, very static today and we're turning it to dynamic. Okay, and that, that's really the key of everything that we're trying to do. We're trying to move from optimization to about wireless link, optimization to wireless network. Okay. okay, so that's the first application. Second application, we have a few challenges. We are working on okay. okay. Eventually, it will work. Later on, we can come back. Don't worry. <laughs> all right, we're a few minutes away. Uh, last thing is that all the traffic is going through again. We're back to 600 megabytes in each link. Okay? Mm -hmm. Which is a total of um, three days. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, if you take in consideration both directions, 60. Right. So, what one direction is three day traffic, which we started with. Okay, so okay. That's, that, that causes the loop of the application. Back to the concerns. Thank you.